sliding forward? Yeah. It was back more yeah. and hanging off. Yeah, I see that. Is this moving at all? No. Like, this isn't, nothing's happening here. The trailer's just going forward. Like, it's not coming out at all. It's just pulling the whole thing forward still. Hey guys, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. So we just wanted to do a real quick follow-up update to the Hensley install. So when we got here to our campsite yesterday, we could not unhook the uh, hitch from the truck. Every time I would try to pull forward, it kept pulling the trailer with it. So what we ended up doing was calling Hensley again. And, and again, they were extremely helpful and walked us through the entire process and even walked us beyond our original question just to make sure that we had everything set up, which was good that they did that because we found that we had done something incorrect. So here are some of the things that they, that they told us. Because this is a brand new system, um, sometimes the powder coating that is all right here and right here can get stuck together and you can actually see a little bit that it's just kind of like flaking off and all the, the pressure from being together just kind of made it stick. So what they suggested for that was to use some sort of silicone spray and just spray it all on here and spray it in there before you hook up, of course, and uh, run it through there a few times. And, uh, and once, once it kind of moves in and out smoothly, you should be good. So that was one thing that we did not do that I think that would have helped. Um, another thing, in our install video, we told you that the way we read the instructions was that you had to have two holes um, when you're using the 1400 pound uh, stabilizer bars. But what they actually meant, or at least that's when we found out over the phone, was that there's got to be two holes in between the holes that are taking the pins. So for us, you can see that there's two holes. So it's pin, hole, hole, pin. Yeah, there's a pin, there's a hole right there, there's two empty holes, and then there's another obviously hole right there. If you have the 1,000 pound um, stabilizer bars, I don't remember exactly how many, I think it's three. So you'll have to just look at the instruction manual. And however many holes they tell you, they mean in between these two pins. The reason that was causing a problem was because when we were trying to unhook, there wasn't enough pressure being released from the, um, from the trailer to the truck. So it didn't want to let it go, I guess. So I think that's kind of the biggest thing. So if you get a Hensley, before you hook it up, spray it down with some silicone, and then also, of course, make sure that you have the proper amount of holes in between because that'll, that will allow the tension to get released from the truck, from the truck and the trailer so that you can unhook. All right, so we just wanted to make that real quick update and let you know um, because we did put out our install video. I think everything else was correct. He kind of walked us through real quick the entire installation and everything else was good other than just that part right there. So, all right guys, we will see you at the next one. Talk to you later, bye. Bye.